to reverse and hold biodiversity loss, as with any major problem that we are facing, we need to look at the drivers of that loss. Remember, some of the main reasons why farms grow food the way that they do is because it's profitable. And the main reason why certain forms of farming appear profitable and provide profits to companies is because we do not account for the true costs of that farming. True cost accounting is absolutely essential, probably the number one thing that we need to fix in order for us to have agricultural biodiversity sustained and not destroyed. The main reason why we do not get true cost accounting, assessing what's good farming and not so good farming, and the main reason we lose biodiversity is because there are vested interests at play which are preventing this from happening. The lobbies that support chemical and industrial farming are very strong and the impacts they have on policy are devastating for farmers, especially those who are poor, and of course for consumers like us and our health because that depends on the quality of the food that we eat. When it comes to agricultural biodiversity and the opportunity that there is to change the way that we farm today, perhaps the most hopeful example I have is from my own country, India, in Andhra Pradesh. It's known as Community Managed Natural Farming in Andhra Pradesh. And there are today more than 500,000 farmers who have changed away from chemically intensive farming to natural farming. Farming that recognizes that nature is a system, that the soil matters and the quality of soil matters, not least its bi microbial content. The techniques they deploy are as old as time itself and yet they are working. They are working to improve their incomes, the health of the farmers, the reduction in water that's been achieved, and the retention of more carbon in the soils. All of this is a win-win-win situation. And if we were to subject it to true cost accounting, it would come out as truly exceptional. That gives me hope.